Thursday, April 19th, 4 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, in this video, we're going to look at some very unusual wildlife behavior. Something that, honestly, I don't think I would have ever thought I'd seen in a million years. Some super awesome sky phenomenon video and some photos I want to share. But first, the wildlife behavior. We're going to start up here in Kamloops, British Columbia right in here in southern British Columbia. It's updated on the wildlife behavior map at the website MrMBB333.com. Some new locations on the United States map and that new location there in southern British Columbia. The tab is right there. What happened was a cougar decided to be the official door greeter at a place of business in downtown Kamloops, British Columbia. That is a big cat sitting on the wall ledge right outside the front entrance door. So needless to say, the employees, they locked the door and they went out the back and they had to call some people to, you know, get the cat removed back to its environment. He, he wasn't hurting anybody. He was just rather intimidating sitting there by the front door. This next photograph, it's part of a video. I've got the video linked in the description box below. This was sent in by Brandon via Facebook. I don't know exactly where it's at, but what we're looking at is a camel. In fact, there were more than one camel, if I'm not mistaken, swimming out in the ocean. Some people in a boat came up on these camels and were just as mystified as I am. I would never thought in a million years I'd have seen a camel swimming in the ocean. They're desert dwellers. I mean, how would they even know how to swim? But that's what we saw. Camels, not only camels, um, at a different location, elephants have been spotted swimming out in the ocean. This was a pair of elephants. Once again, spotted by people out on a boat, who noticed this very unusual observation, a camel swimming in the ocean. I mean, I couldn't believe it. So, in all fairness, what I did do was I googled uh, elephants. I started off with elephants, googled elephants swimming in the ocean, swept out to sea, and I did come up with something. I was kind of surprised. Actually, my wife found this. So, I actually used her uh, link. I actually found some others as well. But my wife found this first, so she deserves the credit for this. Sri Lanka Navy rescues two elephants washed out to sea. They somehow ended up 16 kilometers, which is around 8 miles, off the coast of Sri Lanka. So the Sri Lankan Navy went out and helped these uh, young elephants get their bearings, and they did get back to the coast safely. This is a rare event. It hasn't happened very often, but it has happened. And this is dated July of 2017. And I think um, there was another case that was March of 2018. But I could be wrong on that. But this one I know for sure. July 2017, elephants out swimming in the ocean. That has happened. Even though it's rare, it has happened. I googled the same thing with regard to camels. Nothing came up. That doesn't mean that maybe it's happened in the past and it just wasn't documented anywhere. Uh, you know, I'm trying to give it every benefit of the doubt, but I did Google camels swimming in the ocean, swept out to sea, and I couldn't find anything. That is the craziest one yet. I mean, I've seen people petting cardinal birds, robins, picking up owls, owls staring in windows, geese sitting in the middle of the road at uh, credit unions and uh, entranceways of supermarkets you know everything that you can think of now we're seeing camels swimming in the ocean so if, if anybody knows anything about that I'm sure you may have seen the video I know the video last time I checked had seven million views and climbing so you may have seen that already if you know where that occurred let me know and I will update it on the world map that I'm currently working on so um, I would appreciate it just drop me a line at mr. Uh, reports at mr. mbb 333.com and I'll update the map but I don't know where either one of those occurred 
elephants and camels swimming out in the ocean. Absolutely crazy. Now to the sky phenomenon. Remember this arc, this lens-like thing in the sky that you can only see it. It was discovered by Autumn from Buffalo, New York. You can only see it in one location of the sky. That's to the right of the sun, between the 2 and 5 o'clock position of the sun. And it's not every day. It's really weird. Um, Autumn is a seasoned photographer who noticed this as she was photographing a sunset. In fact, there's a couple of videos she sent me of this phenomenon, whatever it is, that created some sort of a static discharge type of anomaly in her video. This thing did. Or at least the static in her video was right exactly on this phenomenon, this unusual thing, whatever it is, and she's never seen it before. She sent in a new video today of this arc from Buffalo, New York. This video was taken yesterday. She kind of just pans her camera. She's using a professional grade camera and she just pans it back and forth, right and left, up and down, trying to get this thing to, to appear. And it doesn't always show up. It's got to be positioned just right. And what's even more mysterious, it's not every day. Some days it's there and some days it isn't. And when she first noticed it, it was one independent line. Here recently, it's been layered. I think uh, the photograph that I shared with you at the beginning is one of those more recent still images of the phenomenon, whatever it is. I'm trying to stop it right on it. Sometimes it even has color. There it is right there. I mean, it is fast. But I wanted to show you the layers that this thing has every once in a while. Right there it shows a little bit of color. And in the video she just she goes back and forth showing how it appears, disappears, appears, disappears. Really mysterious. And you can see here that compared to the first time she saw it, you can see multiple layers now on this thing, whatever it is. She's been a photographer for a long time. Photographed the sunset for many, many years from the same exact location under about every type of condition you can think of. And she's never noticed this until the last three or four weeks. So it's kind of mysterious. Don't know what it is, but there it is. And I've, I've seen it too with a smartphone. Just pan right of the sun about 20 degrees in the 2 to 5 o'clock position. Sometimes it's there and sometimes it's not. Depends on the day. This is a uh, spectacular halo sent in by Heather from Oregon. That was yesterday. This halo is from today out of Austin, Texas, sent in by Brad. This was sent in from Tempe, Arizona by Marivelle. I went outside around the same time, around 11.15 this morning, and there it was, big halo in the sky over Arizona, over Texas, and one over Oregon yesterday. And these have been quite popular this year. In fact, uh, one, I think you'll see this in the UV video too, but one day we spotted the halos, I think simultaneously from Florida through Texas into Arizona and up into Oregon all on the same day. Kind of neat. Don't see them every day, but when they are up there, they are definitely hard to miss. They kind of steal the show. Much like the sunrise from Maui. This was taken yesterday morning by a young lady by the name of Cindy. This is what the sunrise looked like from Hawaii. She had never seen it look this way. It is 5.30 a.m. April 18. And this is the sky. Red. And I asked her if she had ever seen a red sunrise like this, and she said no. That's why she videotaped it, because it was a new experience for her. And that was from Maui yesterday morning at 5.30 a.m.
So interesting stuff, a lot of interesting things going on around the world. We're trying to keep up with some of it here at the website. And again, you know, more than likely with regard to the wildlife, uh, especially the wildlife, what we're seeing here and, and trying to keep track of at the at the website is probably just the tip of the iceberg. You know, who knows how much of this stuff is really going on around the world. I mean, you're, you're talking almost 50 observations that we know of here at one map of the United States, and there's almost 10 now from Canada. So there's 60 total that we know of, or nearly 60, and we're starting to see some really strange ones come up around the world too. So camels swimming in the ocean right now, the location is unknown. And if you know the location, please share that information with us if you would please that and the elephants and those videos will be in the description box below thank you brandon for sharing and i want to thank you guys for watching and if you haven't checked out the website by all means do bookmark the site it's mr mbb 333.com there's a, a little bit of something here for everybody i think it's a good little hub for information all of the space weather data is in real time including the schumann resonance this is updated 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The Daily Report is a collection of news stories that are current events. They're updated also every day, sometimes multiple times a day, much like the Sky Phenomenon Photo Gallery, updated as the pictures come in. So keep up the great work. You guys send in some really spectacular photographs. Click on the tab, and here they are. It's a huge collection of incredible photos sent in by you. So I really appreciate it. Keep them coming. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a super day and be safe out there.